Piola Smith. I was born in Honduras, Central America. I arrived in Boston in 1984. How long have you been here? Approximately 35 years. Moved to the United States for a better standard of living, to better myself, to go to school, and to be able to help my family. I like the opportunities that being here in the United States affords me. I, owning a home, for example, I don't believe if I was in Honduras I would be a homeowner. Also, the ability to just pretty much do whatever you set your mind to do. People often ask me why I haven't visited. Um, it's been 35 years. Things are really bad there in terms of violence and poverty, um, so it's not really a place I would want to visit at this point in time, perhaps later. When moving to another country, there are many things that people leave behind. Most immigrants move to the U.S. for their families and children. However, they also leave other parts of their families. They then sacrifice their time to work several jobs to make a living. My first year here in the States, Actually, I would say my first two years were very hard. Number one, the language barrier. I didn't know how to read, write English. I could speak it a little. High school was really hard. Kids often made fun of my accent. Things didn't get better in high school, I would say, till my senior year. Recently, the topic of immigration has been very controversial. In recent years, unauthorized immigrants enter the United States legally. However, they overstay their visas. In today's news, the U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement have been producing a number of raids in several states, detaining and deporting 35 undocumented immigrants as of right now. I understand the reasons why everyone wants to come here, same reasons I came here which is to better myself, uh, provide a better life for my family. So I understand all of that. Where it gets a little challenging is trying to figure out how to provide for all these people at the same time when the country is struggling with all sorts of issues, um, you know, poverty, you could say police brutality, racism, uh, there's so many uh, people losing their jobs, losing their homes. So it's, it's kind of difficult to, you know, I, I don't want to say to turn anyone away, but it's really hard to figure out. Uh, and I don't, I don't know if I have any good ideas how to address these issues, but I understand why they want to come. So it's really hard to, to figure out how to deal with it. Since the year 1980, the immigration population will triple and immigrants will make up more than 5% of our military by the year 2020.